everybody, it's Mike, aka that reseller guy. It's Friday, eh, it's about noon time here on Friday. Getting a little earlier start to this video than I normally do, so I'm not quite as rushed as in the past couple weeks. Now, sales the last 24 hours have not been spectacular. On eBay, three items sold, total of $66.38. Amazon, two items sold for about $47. So I'm not blowing the roof off sales here this last 24 hours, but Again, we're all gonna have slow times. I do have several items that I'm waiting for buyers to pay for their items. If they do pay for those items, I'm gonna have a fantastic day, have a couple big sales, waiting for payments. I'm hoping those are coming through over the weekend so I can tell you about them on Monday. If they don't, then I'm gonna have to file the, the non-paying bidder alerts and start going that route to relist the items. Now, let's go over those couple items that sold on Amazon first. Two items, again, total about $47. The first one is this, $19.99. It's this VTech Switch and Go Dinos. It's like a little Triceratops toy. It was new in the box. I picked it up for a buck. It sold for $19.99 on Amazon. The next item is a Bible version of the game Scategories. Again, I picked this up for just a few bucks at a thrift store and it sold for $27.99. Of the three sales that I had on Amazon, two of them were hockey pucks. I listed a probably about 20 hockey pucks I just picked up a couple weeks ago, got them all listed, did sell a couple of them yesterday. They're right back here, right there. All right, let's check them out. First one is this. This is a Salt Lake Golden Eagles minor league puck, not super expensive. It sold, sold? It sold for $11.50 shipped. Next one, this is an older puck, probably from the 70s is my guess. It's a St. Louis Blues hockey puck, and it sold for $19.99 shipped. The last item that sold is this BGCAopoly Monopoly type game. I've had this in my store for a long time, well over a year. It could be two years that it's been in my store. It did finally sell $19.99 plus $12.99 for shipping, so $32.98 all in, finally out of my store. Well, since I knew I didn't have a lot of shipping to do today with these kind of low sales, I figured I'd go out, hit some stores, and let's check out what I picked up today. First item is all of these stickers. These are all Lego stickers. So these are little Lego figures. There's some of these regular ones and some that are like a metal foil sticker. There's probably 30 packs in here. I picked this lot up for three bucks, so I spent $10 a pack. I'm just gonna make a couple lots. I think I'll make two lots, about 15 bucks a piece, so I'll get $30, $30 total for all of them. Here's kind of a cool item that I came upon by random. This is a USA Swimming shirt, but on the back, I noticed that it was signed by Michael Phelps right there. So I did get this authenticated through JSA. You can see their sticker right here, and I have the COA card from JSA. So this is Michael Phelps' authentic signature. Now, his signatures aren't going for what they were when he was at the heyday of his Olympics, you know, winning all the medals, but it still does sell well. I'm guessing for this shirt, I, I haven't fully looked at shirts that have been sold by him. Photos signed by him do still bring good money. I'm guessing the $30 to $50 range for this. I showed one of these yesterday, and I found another one today. Again, thanks, Matt, from Part-Time Pickers for all of your... Uh, bolos here on these vintage pool floats. This one's made by The Wet Set. This one's from 1985. I bought this for $5 today. I looked up comps. The last one sold for $4.99 plus shipping, and there's none of them out there cheaper than that. So if I get $50 for this, I'm going to be very happy. Again, thanks again, Matt. Okay, this next thing is two prints. This one is a Spider-Man Venom. And this is another Spider-Man where they got some Venom stuff going on with them. These are by Kiyomaka. Each one of these has a COA on the back. These are prints, but this one here is autographed down below. This one is not. I can't find any of these listed on eBay. He does have a website, but on the website, I can't find these prints. I paid $1.99 for each one of them. And really, I don't know what price I'm going to put them at. Um, you know, I'm thinking maybe that $30 range. We'll see if we can get a Venom or Spider-Man or Marvel fan that likes these. But I'm going to put them in my store. I think 30 bucks. I think that's the right price. Next, we got all of these. These are all Mylar balloons. Maybe not all Mylar, but definitely foily balloons like this. This is the only junky one. This one's a like a 
wedding one. But the rest of these are all like kid themed. So we have Hot Wheels. We have, let's see, there's three Hot Wheels. We got a bunch of Spider Man. So we got some of that Spider Man. There's that Spider Man. And there's another Spider Man. Just his face. We got some Batman ones. We have a couple different Scooby Doo's. And then we have Teen Titans and Justice League. So I'm going to put these in lots of two or three. My guess is I'm going to get $10 for a lot of three of them. $10 shipped. It only cost me a few dollars to ship these. Now I paid $10 for the whole lot. Let me count these real quick. Okay, so there's 20 total balloons. I paid 50 cents a piece. So if I get $10, maybe I can get 12. In the end, I'll end up getting about $60 total back from all of these. So about a $50 gross profit. You know, not too bad. How many of you have sold dictionaries on eBay? Now, look at this thing. This thing is a behemoth of a dictionary. It probably weighs 20 pounds. Let's, let's check it out. All right, here's the scale. Let's put this dictionary. Oh my gosh, one hand's, this is tough to do. Ugh. All right, I was a little off. 14.23 pounds, but still, that's heavy. Webster's Third International Dictionary Unabridged. Pretty fancy spine. Oh my God, it's hard to mess around with this now. It does have a plate inside by the Easton Press. It is stamped in here. Um, has a few little condition issues, but nothing too bad. I'll throw a couple comps up here. I don't remember. I actually, I didn't get this today. I think I've had this for a couple weeks sitting around, but when I looked it up, comps were 50 to like a hundred dollars somewhere in there. So I'll throw up a couple comps. Either way, this will be the first dictionary I've ever sold, but this is gonna be a big one. And the last item I found is definitely the best one of the group. If you've never looked for Cutco or found Cutco knife blocks or knives, start looking for them. I find blocks all the time. I have never found a Cutco knife. I look for them. Whenever I find a block, I figure maybe the Cutco knives are there at the store. Haven't found them yet, but this is one of their best blocks. This is an 18 slot, I believe it is. So we've got 10 up here and eight steak knives. This is in really nice shape. It's actually probably one of the nicest condition ones I've ever found. This block, you look at comps, they're 60 to $80 plus shipping. So about an $80 block is what I'm gonna shoot for. Really happy to find this today. I, I picked it up for 10 bucks. All right, let me get in close and show you a, a tip that somebody showed me once. I don't know if you've ever had to deal with this before, but this box has marker written on it. Now it's a shiny type box, so this, this will work. So what you do is you get a dry erase marker and you just cover up the number that's on there. Now it was written in like Sharpie or something, but you just cover this up, get a towel or rag, and it wipes right off. It's a good tip. That's all I got for you today. Quick, short video. Thanks everybody for watching. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. All right, I'll see you next time. Peace.